And here's the difference that I think I have found in my life that made a massive difference is God is not worried about your morality as much as he is worried about your intimacy. And mm-hmm. that was the, that was the message of the cross is they went from a Jewish rule where they had over 600 laws they had to operate by. And by doing that, they were kind of getting in good enough to connect with God and where they couldn't do that, they would sacrifice lambs. But the moment that Jesus entered the picture, all of a sudden, every bit of their redemption was taken care of, regardless of, regardless of what vice you have, you're pure, holy, righteous, and blameless, regardless of how you perform the rest of the days. And here's the interesting thing that I realized that a lot of Christians are doing. Running to something and running from something look very similar on the outside. Mm. But the payoff, the payoff of following Jesus is the peace you feel inside. The best way I could describe it is this. It's the equivalent of, let's say you go overseas, Ricky, and you adopt an orphan from Kenya. And let's say you're a billionaire. And so you bring him to your house and you walk him in and you go, everything I have is yours. And he sits there and he sees the chandeliers, the stairs, the rooms, the pool, the hot cut tub, the sun, all those things, all those things you've given him in an instant because you have chosen to take him in. Mm. Let's say in the middle of the night, you go check on his room because it's the first night there and he's not in his bed. And then you're just looking all over your house for him. And then you finally just walk out your front door because it was cracked just a little because he didn't know to shut it. And he's sitting there laying in the mud underneath the tree. And the truth is, is he never, he never gets to enjoy the benefit, benefits of being adopted by a billionaire until he sees himself carrying the same last name as that billionaire. You can state it all you want, but if you're not using the jacuzzi and you're sleeping under a tree, are you yeah. still a son? Yeah. But are you benefiting and uh, benefiting from those opportunities he's given? And yeah. that's the thing that I see a lot of Christians do is they are adopted by a billionaire and yet they're sleeping in the mud because that's mm. what they're used to. Yeah. And, and, and that's a big piece of the puzzle that if you go, people online want to talk about like, you know, I'm redeemed and you are, that, that's great but I'm also looking at a lot of lives that are in shambles. And so if you go, Hey, what's your ministry focuses on focus on the day you walk down that aisle and give your life to Jesus to the day you die. God's going to do the rest once you cross over, but there's a level here on earth that I think a lot of Christians are mailing it in. Um, for, for honestly, if I was, I was just transparent, I think it's just bad mindsets, bad understandings of what it means. I agree 100%. Um, the uh, I want to tap in a little bit to to uh, what we were just talking about. Um, I, I think those lines when you find out that you know you're born, you're you're adopted to a billionaire, you're adopted to heaven, you know you're a child yeah. of God. Um, I, I think that calls for an identity crisis kind of message for a person is like, just remember your identity. And I think that's, I think that's part of the battle because a lot of people are going into the battle and not realizing that that scripture, that you are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus is not registering to them while they're in the battle. Um, They're not registering that, Hey, you have a whole army behind you. And I think even some of the prophets, I forget what prophet it was that um, was crying out to God and was saying that uh, it's it's only me and this and that. And God's like, I have 700 yeah. or <clears> something <throat> that have it yeah. bad down to bail. So yeah, I, yeah. I think about things like that. And um, I think that we have lost a sense of uh, true identity. Um, and like you said, informational world, you know, I think we're, we're thriving off of information, but it's not really connecting to our mind and to our heart. Sure. And I think that is cutting off our um, identity in, in some way or stepping into our identity role. So I think that's important. I think that's powerful. Um, well said, brother.